Overdose of salt. No meat, just salt. You know what I mean? Alright, so working on cutting the exhaust. Let's cut God damn it. Cutting some pie cuts with the bandsaw here. And uh I, I noticed when I went to cut the blade this blade was like hopping every so often and I looked and I could tell that it was getting ready to separate at the seam, whatever you want to call it, right where the these two meet together, they're welded or seamed or whatever, fused of some sort. And uh sure enough, like been a, a couple, I don't know, 30 seconds, maybe not even a minute, it fucking pop, let loose. I was like, fuck. So I just put a new blade on. I, I try to keep a spare. I, to, I was just a harbor freight. I should have got another one, but I didn't think this one was getting that fucked up. So and I grabbed a screwdriver and with these little baby screws, motherfucker, these little baby screws that are in there, it makes it a pain not dropping them. And the screwdriver wasn't like grabbing them. I don't know if anybody knows. I'm sure a lot of you do, but if you take if you take a screwdriver, a piece of metal of some sort, and a wrench sometimes, and you take it and you drag it across something magnetic, it'll magnetize it. Let's see if she works. Oh yeah, back in business. Oh yeah, cutting like butter. Gets in it. Hear that fucking blower fucking making noise there. Let's see if he gets in it. He's been over here cutting out um pie cuts and shit i got another stack of five got six under there this is the driver's side so i've got the other flange that bolts to the header still in there i'm gonna go in there mock it up tack weld it and then unbolt the whole thing and drop it out and then i'll finish weld the top half of it passenger side Ugh. Laying on the damn ratchet. Oh, it fucking hurts. So there's the the driver's side or passenger side. Um, comes down, kind of weaves around, coming straight back. That's where the V band is gonna be. God damn, it's a fucking band in it. So the plan is, uh, that straight piece is gonna come right here. And come out right there 90 it's gonna go to a 90 and then it'll a couple pie cuts and then i'm gonna make an i'm gonna make an x pipe out of that and then there'll be a v band probably right here somewhere i'll probably v band it before before it goes into the pie cuts and goes into the x pipe pie cuts going into the x pipe and then when it comes hopefully it's gonna be I'm not quite sure yet if I'm gonna do it this way or the other way. Come in and pie cut up to the X pipe or X pipe and then pie cut up to the mufflers and then turn downs. I don't know what the fuck that noise is. So yeah, oh, cross that bridge to Mari. Cut some holes in the fucking, whew, and those 45s making the fucking work. So, I cut this with the grinder. Probably cut them about so. I probably just straight shot there, straight shot there, and then put them together and butt them up. Plan. That is the plan. So we'll see how it plays out. All right. So I uh, took and just eyeballed up and drew a line across, drew a line across, and then down and flipped it over each way and tried to mimic it. All right, guys. Got the two ends cut off. All right, y'all, two shiny little fucking, it's not 100% perfectly fucking straight, but I mean, it's gonna be sitting under the car kind of like that, and it's gonna be cut with pie cuts, so it's not gonna be a huge deal. I'm gonna try and hammer it and smooth it out some, and then uh, I'm gonna weld it together, so. I know I haven't been recording much, guys, but just been working steady. Uh, Aaron won't end the truck, come over and help some, but. 
Trist out there revving the fuck out of her super. Oh, they're being loud. Anywho, so that's the X pipe I made, and then everything else is up in there. But V bands are on. V bands tacked on the mufflers. Getting there. He was hoping to fire up today, but there's just there's even if we even if I stayed home from work, I just I don't like calling on it, no matter what kind of shitty job it is. But um, even if we stayed here for another four or five hours, it'd probably take two or three welding this. Put the bunk. I mean, it'll take a while. So, getting there though. Maybe fire up in the next day or so. Finishing up welding this X pipe uh, section together. Uh, disclaimer: I'm not a professional welder. Uh, let's do this for fun as a hobbyist. But I must say there are a couple decent-looking spots where it's got some color too. Besides that. I mean, it's, like I said, this is some very cheap fucking piping, I believe. Just the cheapest kit he could find. It's like a hundred bucks. So, I mean, it, quality isn't the greatest. And I'm just using some 308S rod from a fucking parts store that I found. So, we're going to keep at it. I'm almost done. Once I get done, we'll bolt it back up, see what it, uh, how it fits. And we'll go from there and work on the turndowns. The exhaust is done. Turndowns all the way up. Around the V-bands. Not too bad, but once again, not a professional. But I'm cleaning up tools, right meow. Oh, getting stuff cleaned up. Got them under here since I don't need to be under here anymore. And then I can work on hiring up the uh, holly and see what it does. Little fill station setup should be here. So I can fill my own, own bottles now. I didn't show you guys, but I will. Got the mother of mothers there, if you know what I'm talking about. So, make life a little bit easier for myself. Tomorrow, uh, about to put some gas in the old girl. Still don't hear that pump making noise though, but I'm about to crawl under it and see if I can hear it real quick. So we'll check back in. We do and try and start this thing. Uh, Redrop the tank because we checked that the plug it had 12 volts at the plug. It just didn't seem to be doing nothing. So pulled the pump out and then used the old power probe here and uh, hooked it up. The if you're looking at sideways, it would be like the connector would be top. Uh, if you're looking at the connector, so this is bottom bottom left which would be this one right here on the top left is power and this bottom right is the ground which would be top right on the other this thing saved my life and come in handy more times than i can count appreciate it my dad gave that to me oh and he quit john deere and started working for the state road i uh i used the hell out of thing it helps a lot with troubleshooting and clothing windows S right yeah and roll the windows up but it works so we're gonna shove it back in there and fucking see if we can figure out what the deal is uh, i'm gonna hook it up on the outside first prime the key if it works then we'll shove it back down in there and then uh, i don't know what we chalk it up to a uh, loose connector or something else i don't know so i'm about to I'm about to plug it in and turn the key and see what it does so ready yeah cycle the key Still nothing. I don't make no damn sense. It's got 12 volts coming back. Try it again. Key off. Key off. Key on. Okay, this is it the wiring. I don't keep running it and burn it up. All right, well, I don't know if it's just a fucking short on the wire or what, but we're gonna shove it back in the tank and see if it'll work. I think you're funny. <laughs> Here. I know I have this job. No leaks up there, right? No. It's sucking a lot of air. Well, we didn't put oil in it. Yeah, dude. Oh. 
Okay, it's got a vacuum leak and a vacuum leak. This one, I believe, was supposed to go up to that one there. I've got a piece of detail. And then just a rubber hose from there to the other spot. Okay. Picked up intake for the truck today. He bought it for like 60 bucks off of Amazon. Um, just a regular Silverado kit basically. Comes with a big ass fucking air footer. And some hardware, big ass coupler. Move some of this shit out of the way. All right, I doubt we'll be able to use any of this fucking I highly doubt that. It's real cheap rubber, but look for the price. This is warmed up. Holy, f it's hard to squish. This shit crazy. It's like some cheap weird rubber. It ain't even real rubber. Jesus Christ. Woo! It ain't gonna work. Like I thought, we're gonna have a have to have a straight four inch coupler, and then I'm gonna have to build something around it, because there is no way that moth is gonna work. I had a straight off of that come out and made like a if he bought a 90 it'd be perfect uh i could take and make some pie cuts out of the straight that i got come up cut that tab off come up come over i could probably cut this and angle it more because this is a big dumb filter holy fuck. there's no way to put that motherfucker in there it's gonna be tough got intake on polished up so it looks halfway decent um, had to cut the other brackets off, so I took the, some sandpaper and then some, uh, like a scotch bright wheel over it, and then, I mean, the, the welds don't look bad on this side. This spot right here is where that one fucked up piece come out the end of the, uh, I don't know if I got any, I think I cut both of my straight pieces. Well, I had two short six inch straight pieces of Spectra that I was using to cut the pie cuts, and I got down to, like, the very end, and I was trying to cut it in the bandsaw, and it was, like, war, like, squeezing it and making an oblong shape and it cut it off funny and it had like weird yeah i had to fill in gaps so it made it look all fucked up but it is what it is it functions it works it clears everything just enough room on both sides i have to loosen it up and just swing it up just a little bit get past that get the belt on but i got a belt i'm trying to put it on <clears throat> catch can i'm uh, making a bracket right now to mount it right there so just a little L-shaped bracket, and then I'm gonna put little gussets on it to help strengthen it just to, so it's not kind of flimsy and can't bow or anything. So I'm about to weld that up, and then I'll show you guys what she looks like when I'm done and mount it up. I've been tripping over water hoses. I am working on, there we go, slack. Working on finishing up the S10. I, uh, Oil's good and topped off. Trans fluid, um, got a gallon in there. I'm gonna fire it up and start checking it. Working on filling the radiator. Got a good bit of the bubbles out. Um, and then I usually try and stick this thing on there. And uh, I've already pumped it some and it has no pressure in it, which means there's still air bubbles in there because it'll compress air. It won't compress uh, water. If I could find a way to hold this thing. Not like a there. It should be going up pretty easily right now, but it ain't. It's uh, pumping, it comes back, pumping, it and comes back. Um, I like to run. I like to run pressure through it, through the system. You can find it leaks this way.
hear it, but I can't find it. But and then uh, it's a good way to find leaks without having to get it hot. But let me figure out where that one's coming from. All right, guys. So I just finished tack welding and welding up this uh, little gravesite piece for uh, a buddy that just passed away. Stone. He uh, he had a turbo four door GMC, and uh, we don't know what happened, but it. Especially at high speed, like 120-ish, he uh, lost control and, and rolled it and passed. So, made this for either where he, uh, the spot where he passed on the road or uh, his grave site at the actual cemetery. But didn't have any LS pistons, and they couldn't get a hold of the motor that he blew up to get those pistons. I'd use some Coyote ones, but finish that. It's cooling. So I'm working on the overflow tank for the STM. I literally had some old aluminum pieces laying around, um, and I just got that on the bottom side and I just cut a hole that it'll fit I'm about to weld it on and then I can thread it for eighth inch MPT and run a uh, just a nipple on it and I'll be good once I get a nipple on there I can uh, put a hose on it for an overflow so I'm gonna start welding this up right, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not but working on making a bracket or a mount for this so I got this little piece that I just cut out with the old woo -woo fucking fucking stomper if I can just choose out some pieces, I just chewed out of that. Here's the template that I made. So it's going to sit up on a bolt. It's going to wrap around it. And then this is the top piece that's going to sit basically right there and mount from the top to the middle of the bottle. Or the, yeah, the bottle reservoir, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to work on getting this smoothed out and uh, a little closer to that and then make some bins drill some holes i'll show you guys the finish I'm waiting on another belt to show up from o'reilly's um i got catch can hose routed mounted made a mount down there some gussets holds the factory spot on the alternator got the pcb hose ran got the hole drill for the intake air tune and like that it's like barely barely fits in there very tight so i'm gonna get finishing up on this got baby smalls in the building what you doing small box don't be camera shy and run away where you going come say hi say hi to the peoples come here sit come here small sit small lock sit good girl sit welding up on this bracket here i got everything bent Got my other little piece made right here. So, should be able to, just like that. I'm gonna tack this down and then I'll be able to tack that in, mock it up, and then finish welding. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tack this thing in place. She is done, got her all welded up. Um, still hot, couple tough spots, but I was able to get in there and get them. I was about to try and weld in there. I was getting that spot. And that spot right there was tough enough. I wasn't worried about that. I'll make catch can out of some intercooler. For fucking focus. Is there a focus button? That's my fucker. Intercooler piping. Some sheets of uh, aluminum and made a bracket and shit out of it. And probably just clean it up and leave it aluminum looking. Because that's the purtiest way. So I might polish it up a little bit on the wheel. Like I did the intercooler piping itself. So we'll see. But let's go see what the fucking hoodlums out here are doing. What you fuckers doing on her? Huh? 